Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we're gonna talk about five different business credit cards that you can get with as little as a 0% APR. You can get up to $50,000 on these credit cards and actually one of them, you can actually get up to $100,000 these credit cards are startup friendly, new LLC friendly, and even one of them will approve a sole proprietor, even though it's not recommended that you be a sole proprietor in my opinion, but this video is for informational purposes only. That is the disclaimer because the information in this video is subject to change at any time. But this video is including information that I have gathered from applying for credit cards myself, as well as helping other clients receive business credit cards. So make sure that you watch the entire video and get all the valuable information that you need to know before you actually apply for these credit cards so that you're not racking up a bunch of inquiries on your personal. So everybody knows about Bank of America, but I'm gonna share a couple of different facts that I've gathered from applying for this card for myself as well as other clients. So when it comes to Bank of America, and this is gonna be like this for US Bank as well, Bank of America does have 0% APR business credit cards, but even if you have good credit, you're more than likely not going to be able to get approved for one of their business credit cards unless you have a business relationship with them. So meaning you have opened up a business checking account with them. They wanna see that you have some type of a relationship with them. So my advice, if you want to get a business credit card from Bank of America is that you open up a business checking account with them and put money in there. Put as much money as you can in there as a initial deposit and start building a relationship with them. If you don't have a relationship with them, they're most likely going to offer you their secured business credit card. So they did this to me as well as another client that had very good credit over a, a 750 on TransUnion because they do pull TransUnion and they still offered a secured card to start off with because that client didn't have a relationship with Bank of America. So that's not to say that you cannot get approved without having a relationship, but most likely it would be best that you go ahead and get a business checking account with them and put money in there and then go out and apply for their business credit card. And so the ones that have 0% APR are going to be the business advantage. That one goes up to nine months, so not a full year, but that goes up to nine months, as well as the Advantage Unlimited and the Business Advantage Travel. That goes up to nine months as well. And then the Platinum Plus MasterCard. And then here is the Secure Card. So you would need to have a minimum of a $1,000 deposit for this secured card and they do report to the business credit bureaus as well. So this is going to help you start your business credit. They are going to report. Just make sure that you have everything set up correctly so you can have this card reporting to the business credit bureaus. You need to have your address matching, your phone number, and all of that. Make sure that everything is set up properly before you apply. And so the third one is going to be the Blue Business Cash American Express credit card. This is a revolving credit card. This one has a $0 annual fee. They do a 0% introductory APR on purchases up to 12 months. Now, a little bit of information about the Blue Business Cash credit card. American Express does pull from experience. So when you're going through and applying for these business credit cards, make sure that you do not have a bunch of recent inquiries within the last six months. Make sure that you have less than three inquiries when you're going out to apply for the business credit cards that I'm mentioning here in this video, as well as other business credit cards, because a lot of the banks are going to be inquiry sensitive when it comes to their business credit cards because a lot of the banks are going to be inquiry sensitive when it comes to applying for new credit, even on the business side because they are looking at your personal credit when it comes to bank issued credit cards. So really quickly, we're gonna talk about Chase. Chase is gonna be one of the easier ones to get approved for because they do not require that you have a relationship with them in order to approve you for one of their business credit cards. I've even seen them approve people that don't have an LLC just yet 
and they're a sole proprietor, they still approve them for one of the business credit cards. So Chase is one of the easier ones. They have one of the best credit cards when it comes to business credit as well as high limits. I've even seen people get approved for up to a hundred thousand, I believe on the Premier credit card, if I'm not mistaken, it's either the Premier or the preferred credit card. You can start off with the unlimited or the business cash credit card. So the fourth one is going to be US Bank's business platinum credit card. You get 0% up to 18 billing cycles if you are well qualified. Now US Bank is going to be another one of those banks that really are looking for a relationship when it comes to issuing out credit cards. So again, same advice for the Bank of America business credit card. Open up a business checking account with US Bank, make a deposit, start a relationship, and then you may wanna wait 30 days before you apply for one of their credit cards. Now this is not to say that you cannot get approved without having a checking account with them or any type of relationship with them, but the chances are way higher if you start a relationship with them first and make a deposit and then apply. You'll increase your chances of having a higher limit if you do it that way. So that's a little bit of some nuggets about US Bank. Of course they have other credit cards that you can apply for, but these other ones do not have 0% APR as an introductory rate. All right, so the next one is PNC. They do have a 0% interest introductory rate business credit card as well. So with PNC Bank, they will pull it as well. A lot of the business credit cards are going to pull it at the very least. So you wanna make sure that credit profile is in order with no increase, little to no increase. And so it is recommended that if you would like to get a credit card with PNC, that you also open up a business checking account with them as well if you really wanna get a card from them. Now they have 0% APRs that go up to the first 13 months as an introductory rate. And they also do not have annual, so no annual fees on either one of their credit cards. Now, if you try to apply for this card online, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see this page that pops up that's gonna tell you either you have to have a business checking account with them, you already have to be a business customer or if you're not one, you will need to go into the branch or call them to get started applying for their business credit cards. So again, another relationship, more relationship-based bank. So last but not least, this is another one that will go up to $50,000 that has a 0% APR, introductory APR for the first 12 months. This one is an easier one to get approved for and this one does not require a hard initial credit check. So if you wanna see if you can get approved before going through the whole process, you can do that with only a soft, and then once you accept the offer that they give you, then they'll do that hard credit check. But you can get a good amount with Marcus by Goldman Sachs GM Business MasterCard. They also have a rewards card as well, where you can get different co-branded cards from different car dealerships and you'll get benefits for those different car dealerships. So you can get 15,000 bonus points when you spend $1,000 in your first three months, of course, and the 0% introductory rate, as well as seven points for every dollar you spend with GM, and then earn four points for every dollar you spend everywhere else. And then there's also no late. And a big, huge thing that I don't think a lot of people realize is they don't have any cash advance fee. So if you wanna get cash off of this business credit card, you can do so without those high fees that a lot of credit card companies like to charge for cash advances. So this is a great credit card to have if you get approved for this card. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Check out the link down below in the description box. It'll give you more information on our program and how we can help you get approved for all types of business financing as well as make sure that your business is set up properly. So if you have any questions, comment down below.